All right, Tony, thank you for taking the time to talk with us real quick. Obviously, a bit of a rough weekend. You started off the weekend with, with healing the 50-point penalty. Then you deal with the spider bite. And then you came into this weekend. There was a question if you're going to be able to make the show because of the rain on Sunday. Just kind of take us through this week and also take us through what happened in your round one race. Well, I was riding a Ducati. I got bit by a black widow spider on Sunday. Came to India Thursday. Had a pretty bad run on Friday and Saturday. Found a big... Uh, Big problem with the car, fixed it, ran good Sunday. Not, not, it wasn't the perfect conditions, but ran good enough, got on the show. Um, I don't feel like I drove, drove Phenopoly today. I may have made a mistake that cost us the race, but that happens, man, this is racing. I got a ton of fans out there. I get to drive a race car, and I'm loving life. And, you know, at the end of the day, like I said yesterday, wearing my Spider-Man shirt that my wife got me, we are entertainers. And whether we get that trophy or not, the fans got to see a great show. They enjoyed it. And God gave us great weather. And let's face it, it was supposed to rain all weekend. And here we are going into the finals. My teammate Ron Caps has a chance to win any for the first time. Um, and we're loving life. The fans are smiling. The people out there are moving. The conditions are great. And we're going to see a great race. So, you know, people always start go, well, it was a rough weekend. But I got to drive a race car. And I grew up. As a kid wanted to drive a race car. And a 52 year old man driving a race car. And if I could ask for anything more, I, I can't even think what it is. Hey, you, you talked about your team, Iran Caps, going into the finals. As someone who knows more than anybody about how it feels to win this race, did you have any words of advice for Ron? Because even though he's been doing this for quite a while, he's still chasing that first one where you've had 10, which is still hard to believe. Yeah, uh, enjoy the moment. Enjoy the moment before the moment because it's the preparation that results in, in the results and uh, you know enjoy the right now we don't know if we're, he's going to win it we don't know if he'll lose it but he's got the moment to enjoy it right now and i think it's important and if he does get that so far elusive indy win have a hell of a night because these aren't easy to win i got beat first round these are difficult races and the competition is better this year than i've ever seen in the history of this before all right, and you talked about enjoying the moment. Looking back through your career, like I said, you won it 10 times. Just what does Indy really mean to you? And just talk about the history and what it means to the sport, looking back throughout your career. Well, a few years back, I sat on the stage with Big Daddy. A couple years before that, it was Glidden, Muldowney. The people that have tried to win this race and have won it, the, the list is big, but difficult and the people that have earned it know how hard they had a sacrifice to do it and the moments are just fantastic when you're sitting up there before first round if your legs aren't shaking you don't deserve to be this is a big big race more cars show up here to qualify than anything we've seen in a long time and it makes it more difficult it makes the field the best it's ever been and it makes winning great and then lastly, with the point penalty, if it doesn't go your way, you said 10th in the countdown going into Maple Grove. What do you look to achieve to try and turn this around, to try and maybe redo or outdo the run that you had a couple years ago and to take this championship from 10th? I'll say this. Brittany's running the pace. She just lost an epic amount of points at the end of the day. You know, that's how the countdown works. If we win the championship, we better win four of the next races. If we don't, winning will be unsatisfying. I, it's, I understand the trophy and we get the money and call myself the champ, the team's great, but it's about what's right. You know, she's done amazing this year. Max Savage, Drubnik, all the force camp over there, they've done a hell of a job. So to lose all those points and that be sitting back in 10, come back and struggle through and win a championship shouldn't be. If we don't win, absolutely dominate, don't deserve the trouble. So you're saying that even after all these years and all the success you had with it, you're still not a fan of the countdown? It's not that I'm not a fan of the countdown, I'm a fan of winning. And they are winners this year. They have done a hell of a job. And I think the fans paid money and we are entertainers. And if the fans don't get really what they deserve, to see you a true champion, if it's just a matter of, well, we subtract, we added, we multiplied, we deducted, we moved, come on, you know, the best team, 
the best team, and they are the best team right now. Now, they got to prove that in the next six races, and there's where it becomes difficult. <laughs> you got a car that's run good, a driver that's done a heck of a job, but now you got to do it with insurmountable weight of the world sitting on you, and that's when you become a champion. I think Brittany can do it. I think she's a great driver. I think it's a great team. I will be there to do my best to stop her so that when she does win, she's earned it because that trophy will be more to her than anything in the world. All right, man. Well, thank you for your time. Good luck at Maple Grove, and hopefully we can see you bring a fight to the championship.